what is your name, job title or disability? Hi, I'm Dr Patrick Dunn. I'm a lecturer in physics and data science at Imperial College London. I'm diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome, uh, dyspraxia and uh, Tourette's syndrome. Why did you want to work in physics? Ever since I was little, I've wanted to know how things work. It turns out if you keep asking that question, you get down to smaller and smaller bits that, that all fit together. And if you keep doing that, you end up with the smallest things that we know about and you end up being a particle physicist. Um, I've also always loved taking things apart and making bits of technology work uh, together that aren't necessarily designed to do that. Uh, and it turns out there's quite a lot of that in experimental science too. What's your favourite thing about your job? My favourite thing about working in STEM is that I get paid to spend my day finding out the answers to questions that I find interesting. Um, if I'm allowed a second thing, it would be being part of the really large organisations that are required to answer those questions in particle physics. Uh, if you see a group of people from around the world uh, come together from sort of lots of different countries to design and build a large piece of equipment, uh, just out of scientific curiosity really, um, that equipment then gets operated together by that team for decades. That really restores your faith in humanity. What advantages has a disability given you? I think the first advantage my Asperger's syndrome has given me is the ability to really focus deeply on my special interest subjects, um, which obviously is an advantage in, uh, in academia. Um, the other advantage that I've had is that um, my experience of finding it difficult to communicate with people sometimes and having to work hard to consciously interpret what other people uh, mean uh, means that I don't actually find it that different talking to people from my own culture and from other cultures. I just assume there's another set of unspoken rules that I need to learn again, whereas uh, sometimes I see colleagues just sort of think that other people aren't understanding them because um, they're not used to that uh, sort of difficult uh, conscious communication uh, style that, that I've had to learn uh, to communicate with, with people, uh, even from where I'm from. What charges have you had to overcome? The combination of my dyspraxia, which meant my handwriting is terrible, and uh, Asperger's syndrome, which meant that I had to learn how to understand other people, um, meant that my early time at school was really quite tough. Um, I remember thinking that teachers must just not like me because I thought I'd written down what they told everyone else was the right answer, but when my work came back it was always marked wrong. I was in the bottom sets at primary school for maths and English and really not very happy. Um, when I was diagnosed, it was like someone turned a light on. I suddenly knew what the problem was. Uh, it was just that they couldn't read what I was writing. And my fairly logical brain was then able to focus on fixing that problem. I was really lucky that my family pushed so hard for me to get that diagnosis early at about seven years old and supported me through uh, learning how to touch type, getting me access to computers to, to write on and kind of really all the support that I could have possibly hoped for. Um, now I still struggle when I get overwhelmed because it sort of starts this spiral of feeling stressed, starting to twitch, which then pulls me, makes me pull a muscle, making me stop sleeping and then I feel more overwhelmed, I twitch more. Um, it's easier said than done, but the fact that I'm diagnosed and I have a supportive team of people around me means that um, I know what's happening and uh, people understand when I take some time to kind of calm down and reset a bit. Um, so again, really that diagnosis and supportive group of people who, who I've talked through uh, my issues with uh, really helps with that.